Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us dive into the Word. Today's Gospel commentary is taken from Matthew chapter 19, verse 23 to 30. Jesus said to his disciples, It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. It is said that Jesus was referring to a narrow entrance in the city wall of Jerusalem called the Eye of the Needle. A normal-sized person needs to lower himself, would have to lower himself to enter this gate. And a camel would literally have to kneel and crawl through it. Now, what does the gospel mean by being rich? To be rich here means to have a large surplus of money and possessions of value. Wealth in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 is a sign of God's favor, God's blessings in a person's life. Poverty and sickness was a sign of punishment. Jesus, in his teaching, is creating a paradigm shift from the traditional understanding of wealth, much to the astonishment of his disciples. The rich young man in the gospel could not understand either. He was under the impression that his wealth was a sign of God's favor. The idea of giving alms was highly commendable, but to sell his possessions and give the profits to the poor was a tall order for him. Our life is made rich not by the amount of things we have, but by what we have in our hearts. Hearts were created to love persons, not things. If we put things into our hearts, it gets corrupted. For those of us who are familiar with the movie Lord of the Rings, we recall the character Gollum, the unhappy, obsessed creature with his precious. As a miserable slave to that ring, he ends up dragged down into the fire by that treasure. A heart attached to many things will never pass through the narrow gate of heaven. Let us take a moment to examine our hearts in this time of prayer. Today, the church in Ireland celebrates the feast of Our Lady of Knock. Let us turn to our dear mother for her intercession in our struggle to tread through the needle. Have a blessed day.